Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to MPWF Friday Night Smackdown. We just left a break with a main event matchup, the quarterfinals, Tommy Douglas versus Ricky Cash. And Tommy Douglas is outside on the outside the ring torn as Ricky Cash is reeling. What a matchup this has been between these two. We just saw before the break, Tommy Douglas just opened Ricky Cash up by constantly smashing his face on the steel steps. And Ricky Cash is currently bleeding everywhere. He's got a, a vile gash above his left eye, it seems. But Tommy, Ricky Cash managing to fight back with a bulldog. Ricky Cash, you know, he's arrogant. You know, he's sometimes a coward in matches. But when it comes to that championship, when you say MPWF title, he will be in it and he'll be after the hunt for the championship. So even though he's busted open right now and he's injured, he will continue to fight to try and make it to the finals in which he can finally face Apollo for the MPWF title. And now he kicks Tommy Douglas in the back. And Tommy Douglas kicking back and trying to fight back out. But Ricky Cash, I'm just amazed that he be, he's even fighting back right now. That was disgusting. Those shots to the face by the steps. But Tommy Douglas trying to grab Ricky Cash, it seems. Not sure what Tommy Douglas is doing. But Ricky Cash elbowing Tommy Douglas back in the face again. And now Irish Whip. Tommy Douglas jumping to the ropes to try and dodge that unprotected turnbuckle. Which Ricky Cash does want Tommy Douglas to hit into and now he's picked up a 2x4 piece of wood. I'm not sure what for. He'll get disqualified if you hit him and you won't advance Ricky Cash so that's not a good idea. And he picks it up but Tommy Douglas DDTing him on that 2x4 piece of wood. Mistake by Ricky Cash. Douglas should go for the pin for it. Said he drops an elbow. And you see that these guys are such huge rivals that they're not even thinking about going for pinfalls in this matchup. They just want to beat the hell out of each other. They just want to be able to say that, hey, I beat you in the match. You lost to me in the quarterfinals of the MPWF Championship number one contendership tournament. And Ricky Cash dropping Tommy Douglas. And now Ricky Cash is definitely disoriented. He's running around the ring like a madman. I'm not sure what he's doing. But he nails Tommy Douglas with a bulldog as soon as Tommy Douglas gets up. And Ricky Cash again running around this ring like crazy. Maybe he can't see from so much blood in his eye. And uh, Tommy Douglas runs right into a fist by Ricky Cash. And uh, Rick Ricky Cash takes a shot. Single leg and takes the referee out. What the hell was that for? But Tommy Douglas picks up the steel chair. The referee's down. Douglas realizes. But Ricky Cash able to forearm him in the face. And now a Sabu leg drop with the steel chair. And Ricky Cash throwing the chair out for ev to get rid of the evidence. And Ricky Cash looking at Pinfall again cheating to win this matchup. He's realized that Tommy Douglas is not giving up at all in this contest. And now dropping some fists. And oh, Tom oh my god, Tommy Douglas has been opened up. He is worse than Ricky Cash. That is all over his face. All over his face is that blood. I don't think Tommy Douglas can see out of any eye. And now a elbow to the face and Ricky Cash is proud of himself. He has busted open Tommy Douglas in this matchup to a severity. That is bad. Tommy Douglas is opened up badly. Now Ricky Cash driving an elbow right into his jaw. And Ricky Cash, all he has to do now is hit the Olympic Slam or Cash Money. And that is it. But Tommy Douglas somehow, some way, fights back in this matchup. And again with a Tiger Backbreaker. Tommy Douglas, I don't know how he's doing this, but he's looking to try and end this match and win with probably the Douglas bomb and a clothesline, and Tommy Douglas heads back to the top rope. What a contest, what a main event for the first ever edition of MPW Smackdown on the internet, but Tommy Douglas goes for an elbow and misses. Ricky Cash now heads to the corner, to the top rope. Ricky Cash now flying clothesline, connects with Tommy Douglas, and Ricky Cash again, proud with himself for his efforts. Tommy Douglas with an Irish, Ricky Cash with an Irish whip belly to back suplex by Ricky Cash and he is starting to feel it this match is going to be over very soon a kick to the gut Irish whip again by Ricky Cash Ricky Cash leaping over Tommy Douglas leaping over him again and now a f huge flapjack there by Ricky Cash not going for the cover not a smart maneuver and there it is Olympic slam Olympic slam and Ricky Cash has won this matchup he will be heading to the semi-finals there is absolutely no way Tommy Douglas is going to fight out of that and drags him to the middle the center of the ring and Ricky Cash it's time to stop being proud of yourself and go for the cover which he finally does and this is over ladies and gentlemen one two 
three. No, Tommy Douglas managed to get his shoulder up. I don't know how he managed to do it. Ricky Cash jumping straight to the top rope. Tommy Douglas knocking him off the top rope. Ricky Cash now really on the outside of the ring and Tommy Douglas this time attacking the referee. What for? What for? Why is he taking the referee out? Now a two by four. No, the shot misses. Tommy Douglas grabs it, but Ricky Cash throws him down. It looks like he was just for a distraction on Douglas. Ricky Cash heading to the top rope. Moonsault, moonsault, but Tommy Douglas gets the knees up. What a contest. What a main event here on SmackDown. Referee putting away the two by four piece of wood. Ricky Cash getting nailed by the double X handle. Tommy Douglas now torn into the fence. You better finish this match off. These guys are taking it to each other. Tommy Douglas now. Irish whip straight to the outside of the ring. Now suplexing her, it seems, back into the ring. Yep, yeah, Tommy Douglas nails that. Tommy Douglas picking him up one more time, now kicking him straight to the gut. Shoulder budge. Again punches. These guys are so fatigued, they're so weak that their movements are a lot slower, but it's just amazing they're still going. And what a main event. As I said before, this is great. Tommy Douglas dropping elbows straight into Ricky Cash's face. Picking him up. Ricky Cash manages to fight back out of it. Common elbow tie-up. Now a forearm to the face. Look at these guys. He just busted wide open. Tommy Douglas back first in the unprotected turnbuckle. Another clothesline with precision. Ricky Cash for the top rope. Jumping off. Flying clothesline. Tommy Douglas moves out the way and Ricky Cash nails the referee. Douglas heading to the outside the ring. What's he looking for? He's looking for something. He picks up that 2x4 piece of wood and he looks to hit. And he oh completely nails Ricky Cash with the 2x4 piece of wood. And now drops an elbow in his back. He doesn't even bother to hide the evidence. I think the referee already knows these guys using weapons on each other. But here goes one, two, three. No, Ricky Cash this time manages to kick out. What must these two do to keep each other down in this matchup? And now, a belly suplex. These guys are busted wide open and they're taking it to each other. Now Ricky Cash with an arm breaker, hopefully, hopefully trying to make him tap out with a Fujiwara armbar. Now Tommy Douglas picking him up. Now twisting that arm and ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back for the final part of MPWF Friday Night Smackdown. Stay tuned.